Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today, we're going to be discussing a medication known as Kerasoprodol. Its brand name is Soma. Before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So Kerasoprodol blocks interneuronal activity in the descending reticular formation and the spinal cord. The end result of this would be muscle relaxation. In terms of indications for use, Kerasoprodol would be indicated for the treatment of disorders of the mucoskeletal system. Before somebody was to use Kerasoprodol, there are some contraindications they must clear, as well as some precautions and warnings they should be made aware of. It would be contraindicated in patients who have a history of acute intermittent porphyria, and also it would be contraindicated in patients who have a hypersensitivity to carbamate. Now in terms of precautions, Kerasoprodol is on the Beers criteria, which is a list of medications that the elderly population should either avoid or use cautiously. We want to avoid the use of muscle relaxant and anticholinergic drugs in this population as the resulting sedation could lead to falls and fractures. It should be noted that abuse, dependence, and misuse of this medication has been reported. Closer monitoring would be required in patients who have a history of drug abuse. And there would be an increased risk of addiction in prolonged users of this medication. This medication is not recommended to be used alongside of meprobinate. Sedation has been reported with this medication, and patients would be at an increased risk of experiencing this sedation if they're also using other CNS depressants. Patients should be made aware that seizures have been reported with the use of carisoprodol, and they should also be made aware that abrupt discontinuation may lead to withdrawal symptoms. The risk of this would be increased the longer the patient was using the medication. Now, once somebody is cleared of the contraindications and made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they start to use carisoprodol, they can expect to receive their dose in tablet form. It's available as a 250 and a 350 milligram tablet. So if somebody was using this medication to treat their musculoskeletal disorder, they would use 250 or 350 milligrams three times daily and at bedtime, so a total of four doses per day. The max duration of treatment would be two or three weeks. Now, as with all medications, there are some adverse reactions or side effects that patients may experience while using carisoprodol or Soma, so I'll list some of those here now. About 7 to 8% of patients seem to experience dizziness. Headache seems to appear in 3 to 5% of patients. And somnolence can occur between 13 and 17% of the time. Some more serious side effects would be seizure, drug abuse, or drug withdrawal. That's all we're going to talk about today with carisoprodol or Soma. As always, I'm thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help me grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.